Hey guys, just before we start today's episode, I wanted to say a big thank you to everyone who's uh, been watching the videos and subscribing. It's crazy. We got so many subscribers in the last few days, and I honestly didn't see this coming. So thanks so much. Let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today we are going to be trying to recreate the C-17 Globemaster. I'm assuming that's what this plane is called. I got a picture for it. I'll throw it up on screen. But uh, the thing I actually want to try and I excuse my weird voice because I'm sick, is creating flares. Now, the most annoying thing in this game is when you are flying uh, your plane that is not agile because it's a big, beautiful plane, and you get shot down. Now, I've tested out a few things which work to where dropping pieces behind, mostly from getting shot off, end up taking away the target tracker from the plane shooting you. Now, my question is, can we use detachable blocks and small flare like items to create a distraction that pulls the shots off you allowing you to get away. I don't know if this is going to work but to start off we're going to start by building the C-17 Globemaster. So I wanted to go through how I was building this thing and a little bit of my build process. So the first thing I started off with was sort of the size, like how big did I want it because I know sort of what I want to put inside right off the bat, I thought about it a little bit. Um, so I just wanted to make sure that there was enough room inside of the belly of the beast to uh, actually fit what I wanted to do. The next thing I moved to is the front. Now I kind of wanted to get like an, an overlaying shape sort of uh, from the side, but then my build process got a little sporadic and a little all over the place, but I mostly focused on the main belly and the front to get the, uh, the shape going. I mean, I'm no professional builder, we all know this because my builds look a little silly most of the time. But I just kind of was working through what I wanted, went slowly, and eventually I got there in the end. As you can see here, there's lots of trial and error, and I uh, messed things up quite a bit, but I just sort of kept working with it. It turned out looking really strange, but you know what, I kind of actually like the way it turned out in the end. So I just kept building, kept revising, and uh, eventually we got there. After I completed the front and the mid section, I started to work on the back of the plane. Now the body of the plane from the front to the back is probably the most difficult but also the most important part when it comes to building your planes and how they're going to look overall because it's the main mass that you see. The wings stick out but everyone knows they're for function so if they look a little weird, nobody seems to mind too much. However. I just kind of shaped and went as I did. I really had no clue how I was going to make such a wide thing come to a small point. But I think I did an okay job. There's a few parts that I don't like and that are a little weird. But you know what? We just went with it and it worked well. So, uh, yeah. Now, with the whole body done, it was time to start working on some more functional parts of the plane, which honestly are probably the scariest because 
if you make something that looks good and then you throw some ugly wings on it because otherwise it won't fly, and it's a little disappointing, but I think it ended up turning all right. I put the small horizontal stabilizer in the back, the small elevator, uh, just to start to see what the pieces would work like, and then I ended up going back later and fixing it. Now, the wing, the wings are probably one of the more difficult parts to build because the pieces are so bulky and there's not a lot of uh, nice adjustment you can do without losing a lot of lift. So they look how they look, but I think they ended up working just fine. The new pieces, the new jet engines that they added actually turned out great for this build. And uh, yeah, so I ended up removing some more pieces just for power cord limit stuff. But yeah, this is sort of how it ended up, and uh, let's let's get back into the play. Well guys, here it is. Um, clearly my building skills are not the best, but we do have a working flying cargo plane. Um, yeah, I mean it works, it flies, it lands, it even has uh, whatever this is. Yaw, I think. So that's really helpful and yeah, it just works. So now we have to figure out how we're going to throw flares into this. And just in case you're curious, there are flares in the real thing. Let's see what we can do about flares. So my idea, currently, oh, I'm missing a block. Okay, my current idea for flares is have this whole section in the back, which would normally be for cargo, push down like a level of flares on disconnecting blocks and then release them. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can get something like that going. Um, and then we'll try. You know what? Let's let's test this differently. I'm going to save this. We'll call this the C17 free flare. I'm gonna get this out of here. We can start working on flares. I'm gonna grab just like uh, a basic plane that flies. Yep, this flies. Great. And let's try working on flares. So to start, we'll just uh, grab these disconnecting blocks. Throw some blocks on here. Probably do something a little more aerodynamic. I guess I probably want these all set to different controls. Alright, there we go. So, let's uh, give these a test. Oh, that one is uh, ahead of the other ones. Alright, well, test this dropping. Oh. That might be an issue. Look at it, it like sticks to my wing. That is weird. Okay, so that would probably is gonna lead to an issue of them colliding, I would guess, if they're crashing into me. I'm going fast and they're, yeah. Okay, I have another idea. So my second idea here, let's move these back is to have them on jet propulsion okay and let's use these uh, new rocket thrusters oh but these these will will not launch after I disconnect so these are gonna need some sort of sensor on them I guess a distance sensor would work. Alright, 
Okay, there we go. These are all going to be, to be uh, inverted trigger. Oh. I'm going to remove the controls from here. Now the biggest issue with these, and why I wasn't thinking about putting these on a fighter jet, is they're big and they're bulky, so they don't really uh, work for that, I don't think. There we go. Okay, let's try these. One. Oh yeah, that kind of works. Oh, I should watch where I'm flying. Okay, now my my uh, aerodynamics are very off, but that's another thing that the uh, big plane just won't have to worry about. Yeah, so none of those stuck. Uh, let's uh, let's try that one more time. Just drop those all off, and then they sort of just go crazy. So that's working, I think. Let's try implementing this into a uh, into a design. So we're gonna need a piston. grab the detachment blocks assuming we don't run out of complexity we get two rows I guess and then we can go well we probably do maybe we could do four we'll see um, grab the flare distance sensor and then a little booster dude and then a cone on top and this needs to have an inverted trigger trigger that this needs to have no control there's our flare, correct? And if we just duplicate these over. Now we'll want these to trigger after the uh, things. So we're gonna wanna add a delay, two seconds. Let's grab these. Those controls are fine. We're gonna want toggle. Oh, oh, these are already extended. All right, so we're gonna need to grab this whole system and move it down. That's probably good, right? And then, oh yeah, we can just lift that up and attach that there. And that should work smoothly, theoretically. So if we lift these, oh, that is not looking that, I don't think. Yeah, not in the slightest. Okay, zoom, just need to delete that and make this inner bit a bit, a bit thinner so there's more room for it to run. There we go, so now, There's fully extended. Perfect. So they're extended. They fire. And then we're gonna do detaching from the back to the front probably makes the most sense. The delay of two seconds after pressing which doesn't make any sense in my head, but it is just what it is. We'll go 2.1, 2.2, 2. .1, 2. .2, 2. .2 three so now we get these going one of the big downsides with this is it's a uh, the one-time use so use wisely and big test oh man okay those drop down a lot faster than I was hoping but I think that draws the uh, the attention away let's do that one more time let's try this once more Yeah, so that's good. It's just not going to last very long. Except for that one guy over there. Just cruising. Okay. Let's see what else we can add to this guy. What if... Grab all of the... Put those backwards. And we'll just test this out. Let's go upright. Get some lift here. And players oh those actually stayed up a lot longer 
repair. I felt like those stayed up and in the air a lot longer. Maybe it's just coincidence. Oh no, yeah, those guys are staying up way better. So they go backwards faster, because that's where they're being thrust. But they're actually like s staying in position a lot better. Oh yeah, that's, that's improvements. And I think the last thing, now that I know I have enough power cores, just going to fix up this back wing, because it is awful. But uh, then I will see you in a moment with this all painted up and everything. So guys, I got Alert Cupid here, and he's going to hop into a fighter jet while I get into the C-17 right here. And we'll, we'll test out these flares finally. So a few uh, additions I made to the plane since you last saw it. The paint job, clearly. And I adjusted the delay on the flares, so now they eject a little slower. But, so, do you want to just line up on my tail and we can test? How many guns oh, do you have on that jet? Uh, two minis and two rockets. Alright, so do you want to just aim and then shoot your minis and I'll launch the... Uh... Okay, so do you want to just come on my tail and then, uh... Display the flares. I was too bad. I'll switch to minis and not use my big uh, thrusters. Oh shoot, I clicked back space. I also realized I need to adjust to this so that the things launch a little faster. Okay, let's go. Let's get the uh, laps going. Oh, I guess I also added the uh, new tail since you guys last saw the video. Last saw the plane. Okay. I'm ready when you are. I'm pulling around so I'm farther back when I start shooting. Okay, I am. Just tell me when you're locked on. Approaching. Okay, I've got a lock. Okay, go. Oh, they definitely worked. Like, it pulled away one of my cannons. And then one of my air brakes broke. Oh, we're good. I'm back. Alright, and then... Let's just do a comparison. If I have no flares, just, just fire at me. Okay, I'm on the way to attack. I'm firing. Oh, yeah. That is a lot more damage. So you're coming. Bullets are flying. With flares. Oh, it's definitely oh, working that on the totally flares. Distracted. I completely stopped being able to hit you. And now I'm out of flares, so I'm screwed. But uh, that works. Okay, let's let's flip rolls. You can fly this, and I will fly in my fighter. All right, I'll just come fly by you real quick. Oh yeah, that's so slow. Okay, I'm locked. Ah, uh, not locked. Okay, go. I'm holding down on the down. Up. Up on the down. Oh, up. up on the down arrow? Yeah. Obviously. I'm oh, just hitting the wrong oh, pitch yep. button. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I definitely didn't hit W instead of S. Nice job. I am not that bad at thinking. This is going to be easier if I have a slower vehicle. Alright, I'm firing. Oh yeah, no, I can't I can't shoot you. It's just all of the things. That was better than expected, honestly. This uh this worked way better than anticipated. So flares in trail makers do actually work. It's just kind of annoying to use because of the uh the fact that they're one time use. However, they do work well if you have a massive plane like this. Okay, let's see how fast I can take you down with this plane, including rockets. Um. Okay. Purely for my own enjoyment to watch a giant plane explode, but... Like... I mean, I'm definitely aiming at something that wasn't on your plane yet. Oh, are you kidding me? 
can't shoot anything. Couldn't even shoot your player. Uh. See, I can't damage you, so uh, I can't repair. What a turning angle. I am tanking damage right now. Oh, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're not feeling very good right now. <laughs> we are not feeling very good. Well, thank you to everyone who uh, came to today's episode and made it this far through. If you did, they uh uh yellow oranges down below and we'll see you next time